Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a plus size summer haul from Shein. So if you want to see what I got, then just keep watching. So before we get started, I do want to mention something. Um, so I purchased this order a while back and before it got to me, there was some drama, some tea. Basically, Shein ripped off a, another person's clothing line. Not line, but an outfit. I thought I had screenshotted it so I could tell you who it was, but apparently I didn't. And I want to say it's like Flawless Culture. Fla oh, I don't remember. And I tried to just look it up on Twitter because that's where I saw it, but that's not coming up. I can't remember her name. Sorry. But she is um, a black creator who created a plus size or just a clothing line in general and apparently they ripped off one of her items so I didn't want to look like I'm promoting this because I don't promote that that's wrong um, I did purchase this stuff beforehand so I am still going to try it I mean I already spent my money so I don't know if I would continue to support them it kind of just depends on how they react and what their response is and if they do it again so just wanted to get that out there first. If you know who it is that they ripped off, please put it in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get into this. So I feel like one of the biggest questions that happen with Shein is how long did it take to ship? So I just checked my email and I purchased this on the 14th, but it says payment date is the 15th. So I wonder if that was a weekend. It was. So I purchased this on June 14th, which was a Sunday. So they put it as a Monday payment. Um, I did actually receive an email the very next day, so the 16th, um, saying that the order was shipped. And when did it get here? It got here on the 25th of June. So that took a little over a week and a half, which actually is not bad. I've heard horror stories. Sorry, my garbage is behind there. I've heard horror stories about how long they take, but for me it took a week and a half. So let's go ahead and get go through these. I have quite a bit and I feel like Shein is always the place that I personally buy things that are out of my comfort zone to try because I want to try them but I don't think they'll look good but because it's so cheap I can justify trying. <laughs> so I did end up buying a lot. This is just the stuff I couldn't get shoved back into the bag because the um, I don't know how they pack this so full. Like, I took everything out just to look at it because I couldn't remember what I bought, which is sad. It had only been a week and a half, uh, but I couldn't get it all back. I don't know how they do it. Let's just start wherever. So let me pull up my email because they did not put anything in here with the receipt. Okay. Let's just start with this because it's the first thing in front of me. I feel like I should do this in a nice order so that for me trying it on, it'll make it easier for styling clothes. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So this is a white and black short. Um, it looks like it has faux pockets. Like there is no pocket at all, but there's a seam here as if there should be a pocket. <sighs> My lighting's doing it again, isn't it? You know, I'm sorry. It's just until I can figure this out, it's going to happen. Um, if you know any suggestions about lighting, let me know. So this one does have a belt and this belt is attached. It does not do anything. It is literally just sewn on right at the sides. Um, and then it does have an elastic. This stinks. It smells like, I don't know, chemicals or something. It stinks. But it's not overwhelming. I've had some stuff come that is really overwhelming. This is not. These shorts are called... The plus striped paper bag waist belted short. I got these in a 4X and they retail for $11.02. So I will tell you, I've had some people ask in comments or ask um, like comments of my video or ask in comments on you know, Twitter, Instagram, wherever I'm talking, which is everywhere. Um, they've asked you know, about sizing and I will tell you, Shein is cheap, but it's so time consuming to shop there because nothing is the same size nothing is you know like it's there's no universal size so you literally have to look at your measurements for every item 
So I started to get lazy, so we don't, who knows if this will all fit. So for this one, I did get a 4X. And let's go ahead and see what it looks like on. Okay, so these are the first items. Um, they are see-through, but I have skin colored underwear on. I don't know if I've said it in the clip you've seen or the clip's coming, but for some reason their pants don't have a tag to tell you what side to put them on. However, these have pockets, so obviously there's one direction to put them on. It does have the tie that is attached but it doesn't do anything. It's literally just sewed on the side. I don't like the material personally. They are stretchy, so they fit fine. Although they kind of feel like they're up my butt. I don't hate them, but they don't feel like stylish to me. They look more like just nicer pajama pants. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just seeing that. And it's like the material is feeling like that, like I'd almost feel like it was better if it was more structured. But I definitely think I'm going to keep them. I don't know, maybe it's just the top that's throwing me off. Maybe if I had a cuter top on, they'd look better. But they are definitely see-through. Yeah, yeah, they're see-through. So definitely wear something underneath that you don't mind showing. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Let's try to be nice to me do we have a shirt that will go with that you know what I'm gonna say this shirt just because I want to see how matchy matchy it looks <laughs> so this next shirt is black and white striped as well oh that's an interesting material oh okay um so this is just a black whoa this is just the black and white shirt it looks like it has like a little ruching in the middle is it elastic is it in the front no. So it has like this elastic in the back, which I'm sure I'll show you in the video. Um, and they try to like mimic it in the front with like a little baby peblum, but it's not actually elastic in the front. I'm just curious to see how matchy matchy this will look. <laughs> okay, this is called Plus Striped Ruffle Trim Baby Doll Blouse. I got this in a 5X and it is 1302. Like, do you see the sizing? Like, I wear 3X in most places, shorts wear 4X. This is a 5X, like it's just all over the place. Okay, let's see how matchy-matchy it is. Okay, this looks hilarious together because it wouldn't look that bad if they matched, but they don't match in color. It's a different white. Like these are whiter, this is more off-white. Um, this stinks like chemicals. It smells really bad. And then, I don't know if you can hear it, I don't know what fabric this is, but it sounds horrible. What is it? 95% polyester and 5% spandex. It just, it sounds horrible. It feels horrible. Like it doesn't have, I don't know, like give that most clothes do. Like it does have a stretch here. So it's not that it doesn't fit. It fits fine. I just, this would drive me insane to be like the noise of the crowd <laughs> i don't know i think it would look kind of cute with like nice skinny black jeans or you know something to make it more sleek looking i don't know i think i'll probably keep it because i feel like i could dress it up but it'd be definitely something i wear for a short period of time in a crowded area if not this is gonna be really really annoying <laughs> so annoying okay Let's move on. All right, let's, I guess, just keep on the theme of a pant and then a shirt. Why not? So these are the ooh, next shorts I got, which they are the this really pretty, like, tropical, colorful short. Um, it did come with a belt. However, the belt is not attached in any way, shape, or form. But, I mean, I guess it looks cute. It does have a couple of loops anywhere else no oh yes it does okay so that's good the other one i looked at didn't look like it had any loops so we'll have to loop this through i will tell you the one thing that bugs me about their clothes and i noticed this the last haul but i didn't notice it until the haul was done and i was wearing these again later the clothing for the pants 
don't have a tag up top. So it's almost confusing to figure out which side you wear them on. I will tell you, just looking at this short and the last short I just looked at, the stitching looks horrible and I do see like they didn't finish cutting in places. Like it's just, yeah. I mean, it's cheap though. Like that's one thing I will say. I don't complain too much about their stuff. Um, I mean, obviously if it just doesn't fit, it doesn't fit and doesn't look good. But as far as like quality wise, I try not to complain that much because it is stupid cheap. Like I feel like you get what you're paying for. Okay, so this is the next pair of shorts. Um, they do not have pockets. However, I could figure out which one was the front and you're not gonna be able to see it, but oh, I guess you can see my finger go in. There's a fake, like where a zipper normally would be. So I'm assuming that was meant for the front. Um, it does have a belt, but it, there's not that much excess. I don't know. I feel like these would be nice personally for like the beach. Other than that, like, I think again, because of how they're structured, I wouldn't wear them out to anything else other than the beach. But I really love the colors and I love the print. It is see-through again. Yeah, I definitely think this would be more of a beach short for me. I didn't even say what those were called, hold on. All right, those are the Plus Plants Print Belted Short in a 4X and they're $10.01. All right, so it doesn't look like I have a shirt that will match, but whatever, I'm not showing you outfits, I'm just showing you items. If you want me to show you outfits, let me know. Okay, so this next item is a little shirt. Um, it has the spaghetti straps, but then it does have the part that goes over your arm. Um, again, no tag to tell you what side to use. I'm assuming this tiny little tag on this side that says 4X lets me know that should be the back. I don't know. Um, but it is this like really light material. It's got layers at the bottom. And this retails for... Actually, what's its name? This is called the Plus Cold Shoulder High Low Blouse, and it is $14.95 in a 4X. This one is probably the worst so far as far as what the stitching looks like and having seams coming out and... Yeah. Like, just look at this. Come on. Like, do you see that? Like I said, I'm not that huge about complaining about it because... It is cheap, but, you know, obviously if that's something that really bugs you, no matter the price, then that's why I'm telling you. Okay, so this is the next shirt. Ignore the shorts. I just put some on. I don't know. It's cute. Obviously, you can see my bra, which doesn't make it as cute, but it's very, very tight here. Like, there's, like, no give for this area. Oh, my God. I just feel like I can't move my chest so like I can't breathe <laughs> that deeply. Other than that, it is really cute. I'm gonna have to take this back just simply because I can't stand this. Like it is way too tight on my chest. This one I think is like one of the cutest things I've gotten, but probably going to look the worst on me. I'm predicting it now. You'll see. Actually, we'll both see in a little bit. <laughs> But I'm predicting right now that this is going to look horrible. So this is a set. It is a jogger and crop top set. So it's just this gray crop, gray material. And then the top just says love. And that's the pants. And then same thing with the crop top. So I feel like this is going to look horrible on me. But this is definitely something I would lounge around in the house in. Because I don't care what my husband thinks I look like in this. And knowing him, he thinks I look cute and everything but not something I'm gonna go in public in. So I'm predicting this now to look horrible, but that's because it's just not my cup of tea and I already know that this is going to show every part of my gut and I just don't like that. I will say just holding these up in front of me, they're very see-through. Oh, it has pockets though. Okay, this one is called the Plus Space Dye Letter Graphic PJ Set. See, it even says pajama. It's a 4X and it's 1802 for the set. Oh my gosh. So, oh my gosh, look at all those stretch marks. Ugh. Um, 
this, this is a no. A definite, definite hard pass. Um, boobs, again, are too big, so there's literally, like, no space. And then these are too small lengthwise to have them up high like you would want them. Like, I had to pull them pretty high, so now my ankles look weird. Not that you can see that. Okay. No. <laughs> so, yeah. I also feel like they're riding right at my butt. So, these are definitely no. The material is pretty comfy though, had this fit. So if you find a size that works for you, this is actually pretty comfortable. They're just not gonna work for me. All right, let's just keep on the pajama theme. I don't think this is meant to be a pajama, but for me, this is gonna be a pajama. And that's literally the reason I bought it. Holy crap, this is soft. Oh my God. God, this material is awesome. What is this? Okay, this is what it is, and this is gonna throw my lighting off so bad. It is a dress, t-shirt dress that says Angel on it, but it is very, very wide neck to be like off the shoulder, um, or to have like one off. One shoulder cold, whatever, you know what I mean. Okay, where's the tag? I need to know this material. 100% polyester, Dude, this thing is soft. Okay, let's see. This is called the Plus Heart and Letter Graphic T Dress. It's in 5XL and it is 1202. Okay, so this next shirt is, I think they actually did classify it as pajamas, but it is definitely looser, bigger, still showing us nasty, but ah, oh, it's so soft and so comfortable. So we finally got a win, although it's pajamas. But it's so comfortable. I love this. Love it. Definitely see-through. So it's a definite at home, unless you have some white skims or something. But let's move on. Should we just do the cheetahs back to back? Is that weird? That's weird. But I also kind of want to see how this looks now. So I got these cheetah shorts. Um, they're shorts. They're definitely see-through. Holy shit, they're see-through. Um, same thing as the other one. The belt does not come attached, but I do see loops. Wait a minute, where'd it go? Shit, it blends in. I was going to say, I saw one. Is that it? There's just two? Yeah, looks like there's just two loops on this one. So, this is... Cute. I hope these look good because I'm going to be so disappointed. So this is called the Plus Cheetah Print Belted Paper Bag Waist Shorts 4X and it's $10.01. Okay, so this is the next item I just threw on my shirt just so I had something to wear. Um, but it's just these cheetah print pants or shorts, I mean. And they are the same material as the other shorts. I just think it has to do with the print. Like this print, I feel like you can get away with it being more, I don't know, less structured and just kind of how it is. This tie does have way more fabric than the other did, so I could tie it in a bow. Yeah, no pockets, that part sucks. But these are actually really nice. And I think it's, again, comes down to the print and the material, or the print, because these do feel, and I feel like they fit the same as the other shorts, the, the white ones, the pink and the, like palm tree-ish ones, they fit the same, but I think just the print makes it look nicer. So I definitely think I could see myself wearing these. So I'll be keeping these, but probably not the others. Okay, so for shits and giggles, we're just gonna try this cheetah shirt with those shorts, even though they are not anywhere the same color. What is this? Let me reference the picture real quick. Oh, there is a belt. Interesting. Okay, so this is a cheetah shirt. They call it the peplum shirt. So far, the opening, I can already tell you, looks huge. Like, I don't know how this is gonna work. And then apparently it came with a belt that's separate. And there are no holes, like no loops. Dude, Wind, you gotta chill. Yeah, there's no loops on this, so I guess you just, it around 
This is a Plus Leopard Self Tie Peblum Blouse. It's in a 4X and it's 1202. Okay, this is the next item. It definitely looks funny together because they are not the same color. These are definitely lighter and this is definitely more yellowy brown. Um, I didn't put the tie in just because this material is so tight on me. I don't feel like it needs it. However, this is very loose. I don't know. I don't fully hate how loose it is, but it's also kind of like, depending on your level of being conservative, it definitely falls. And I don't know if you can really see that, but yeah, I mean, it fits. It's definitely more shorter than I would prefer. I'd rather have the shirt come down to about here, which is just personal preference with my gut showing. But other than that, it actually is a really cute top. I like how flowy the arms are. I'm gonna actually take it back though just because of the length and personal preference I just don't like this length so I will take it back okay let's move on to the next item which I can already see a string hanging off okay it's not attached so this ooh, is the next item is this a skirt I did not buy a skirt no I did not okay this is a short <laughs> shorts um, but the material at the bottom made it like appear as if it's a skirt and maybe that's the intention the cut looks horrible like there's pieces fraying everywhere was that their intention maybe um this is a 4x this material is weird this is called plus tie waist ruffles hem shorts in the size 4x and it's 1302 i'll tell you in the picture this looks like a lot nicer material than this not that this material is bad it just doesn't look soft or comfortable it just kind of like i don't know We'll see what it looks like on. Okay, so the next item are these shorts. Um, I don't like them. I don't know if it's just the color, if it's the material, or the way it's sitting on me. Definitely hate the material, that's for sure. Feels too heavy. Like from changing through all these clothes, I'm hot. And for me, you know, especially in the summer, I don't want heavy material. And something about this material is just very heavy. It also doesn't have that much give. Like it does appear kind of because it is stretchy but like the actual material of where it's sitting here doesn't have that much give they're pretty tight <laughs> um yeah I don't personally like them I don't know like I said don't know if it's a material or what or just the way it sits on me but it's it's a no for me okay so this is definitely not gonna match but it's okay so this next item is a blue off the shoulder shirt and it's got this like laser cut out on the edges and at the bottom I feel like is gonna be see-through I guess we'll find out um this is called plus bordo bardo bardot I don't know laser cut out solid blouse and it is a 4x and retails for 1001 okay so this is an off the shoulder I have a bra on so you're just seeing it now but I personally would like this if it was looser the type of material see the type of material that this is is very structured but it's so freaking itchy like it's just as soon as I even started putting it on it's so scratchy like oh I don't like it I don't like it I also just don't like how this size is very form-fitting it's just not personal preference but it also is just so itchy that I wouldn't wear it even if it fit okay this is a no for me. It also stinks. It smells like chemicals again, or vinegar is what it really smells like. So, this for me is a no. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to get out of this. Okay, let's try the next item real quick. We're down to two items. We're getting there. This one is just bike shorts, um, and I bought them because I wanted to get something to easily wear under like dresses because right now I wear my like pajama shorts which they're not pajama shorts I just use them as pajama shorts but they're fairly short and so they ride up a lot as I walk so I figured these wouldn't ride up however these look pretty see-through so I definitely think I'm only gonna be able to wear them under something um, but they have this like little mesh pocket on the side oh both sides this one so they call it the plus mesh pocket pouched side cycling shorts it's a 4x and it retails for 1002. Okay, so these are the biker shorts. Pocket is tiny. Um, they're nice. I can tell they're definitely 
see-through. Like, I can see my nails when I do this. So they are see-through because the material is so thin. Also because the material is so thin, I feel like the seam here, I feel it when I'm walking, which is, oh god, so uncomfortable. <laughs> it's, but I mean, they're also a cheap pair of biker shorts. So I can't necessarily fully complain. I don't know, I feel like you could find cheaper that or better quality because these are pretty thin. And then that seam is just really annoying. Like I can imagine walking long distance. That would be annoying. So I'm actually gonna say no to these. Even though they were super cheap, I just feel like that annoyance is gonna bug me that I'm not gonna wanna wear them. Also, if they're this thin standing, I'd hate to see what happen if I bent over. Okay, last item. Probably another item that's gonna look horrible on me. Let me just get the name out. It's a plus ribbed knit tank top and paper waist striped pants set. 4X and it's 2103, so it is a set. So you have a crop shirt, which I don't know why I keep putting myself through these. I don't look good in them. Uh, so you just have this like ribbed, cropped white shirt. And then you have these cute pants. Again, the damn tie doesn't go on it. You have these cute like blue and white pants. This is see-through material. Why do they keep making material that's see-through? Again, no tag to tell you what's front and back. Love that. It does come with a top. Why is there two ties? That has to be a mistake because I got two. Anyways, there's a tie that comes with it. I hope to see once I put this on, but I, I'm pretty sure it was only supposed to come with one. Okay, before I try these on, the picture makes it look like they're almost like straight legged, right? I just put those away and those are wide. Like maybe when it's on me it'll look different, but in this, it just, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Okay, sad news. These don't fit, so I can't show them to you on. Like, I mean, I literally could just barely get them up my leg. So, these are going back. <laughs> okay, so that is all the items I bought from Shein. What are your guys' thoughts on Shein? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's not worth it? Is it just too much of a hassle? Or are they just a crap brand? Let me know your thoughts, because I'm curious. But anyways, that's all I have for this video. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.